hello again so I want to make a video here of uh, my latest creation it's a uh, variable frequency pul pulse width modulator and um, <laughs> I'll show you the circuit here in a second but here's the schematic I'll put the um, link for the schematic in the uh, info box basically it's a uh, LM324N 14 pin uh, quadruple op amp <laughs> um, with a MOSFET I didn't use the one on uh, the schematic I couldn't find one like that but anyways it uh, has variable frequency obviously uh, just like a PWM it has the um, variable duty cycle but this one has the variable frequency which is really what I want and I just wanted to demonstrate it I have it uh, hooked up to a 12 volt battery which is starting out at 12.14 um, here's how my circuit ended up <laughs> it's a complete rat nest but uh, it works and uh, you know when I started it this should be inspiration to you know ultimate inspiration to anyone out there who's thinking about uh, attempting anything like this the Bedini or anything like that because um, I got close to being done this circuit and I really took a good look at it and I thought to myself this is never gonna work but it does <laughs> somehow I have the uh, output hooked up to a uh, 12 volt PC fan and this pot right here is the um, the blue one is uh, my frequency adjust and the one to the right of it is my duty cycle adjust I'm going to start it at uh, zero duty cycle and the frequency is at its lowest setting and um, which it seems like it could use more resistance and maybe go down lower uh, in frequency from the uh, bottom of where it's at right now but it seems to have a good um, uh, bandwidth I guess you'd call it anyways here we go I'll uh, switch her on and I'll adjust the duty cycle up you should be able to hear it pulsing the fan and my voltmeter is not uh, <laughs> it needs a new battery I think anyways that's where it should be reading right there anyways I can increase the duty cycle the fan starts to hum the volts start to go through the circuit and it's cranking pretty much what the battery's giving it and I'm going to turn the duty cycle back down I'm assuming that um, I don't have an oscilloscope that's now my new mission to get an oscilloscope but I assume that um, if I set it around 6 volts halfway I'm at about half duty cycle so then I can adjust the uh, frequency and outside its lowest setting so here we go you should be able to hear it you can hear the frequency the voltage is pretty much where it's at And there's the top end and uh, 
tends to use a little more or uh, shows a little less voltage here and the fan doesn't seem to like the really high frequency uh, bring the frequency back down the fan goes faster And there we go, back to where we started, lowest frequency. Very interesting. I'm going to use this circuit. I've wanted to, um, I really don't like, uh, I don't have a probe for a computer, um, a signal generator, an oscilloscope, and I really need to get an oscilloscope, but I've really been wanting to uh, make a little signal generator type circuit, and this is it. <laughs> uh, my next one will be, look better. This is really a rat's nest. It's crazy. But um, I'll be able to um, pulse LC circuits and uh, do some things with resonance that I've been wanting to do. Um, and that'll be fun. So more videos to come. I've been moving. That's why there's no videos for a while. So I made this and got it going and now I'm like really worked up. So <laughs> there could be a few videos in a row. Um, Hi Per Johan. There's no um, there's no duct tape and there's no zip ties. I know you probably already noticed that, but <laughs> uh, take her easy. Talk to you later.